I'm Roger Reed, chiropractor in London. Um, just following on from part one of my video series of uh, why people get back pain and how to avoid them. These are four simple stretches that are going to help to prevent back problems from happening, help you recover from back pain, and they need to be done carefully and they shouldn't cause pain at all. I talked in the first video about how hip flexors get really stiff and tight, hamstrings, glutes, we're sitting too much and how to get that. So if one of the things we're trying to do is get stronger, see parts one, two and three, to how to get a bit more core strength. Um, now I'm going to talk about how do we get the hip flexors working better. So, big stride up onto a bench or a bed or two chairs. Okay. Try and make sure everything's pointing forwards. Hips, knees, toes and shoulders all pointing forwards. Okay. Bend the back knee, lift the heel off the ground. And we're going to tuck our tummy muscles in, tuck the tail in, and we're going to lunge in. So you're trying to go forwards. The trick is to get a nice stretch through here. It shouldn't be hurting anywhere else. If you're feeling hamstring or a quad tension, the step's too high for you. Try and do it on a lower step. And you're going to hold all my stretches, 30 seconds, nice, slow, gentle stretch, not pain. Main thing with this is that I don't want you hyperextending. That's going to put more pressure on the back. Shouldn't hurt anywhere else. You should just be feeling a nice, comfortable stretch through there. And 30 seconds is enough. Always do both sides. But make sure you're leaning into this one nicely so that we get a nice, comfortable stretch through there without pain. That's uh, hip flexors. Elias Sowers.